this. They're here. Yep. Oh, hello. Hello to the people. <laughs> so yeah, they're here. So I suppose uh, we better unbox them really, hadn't we? Exciting, exciting. So I suppose we uh, we better um, get these open now. Uh, knife, knife. Oh, knife. That should work. Uh, yeah, that does the trick. Let's just hide the address. Yeah, that's a very acceptable knife to be using. Got it. So, I better... Let's see what's inside the box then, have I? Ooh. Oh, oh yes. yes. Goodies, goodies, goodies. Let's start with this one, which is the hybrid. Now, I've ordered a 19 and a 22 hybrid. I'm expecting this one to be the 19 because I think because I think they're uh, waiting for the 22 heads to turn up. So, for the time being, I've been using uh, the demo one. Got that name? The demo one. Um, so this 19 is um, going to be used to. Possibly replace my M6 hybrid, but it will certainly be used to use as a comparison. So what I've got is a Tensei blue shaft in stiff. Uh, I've got the mid-sized uh, plus four grips on it. Um, I sent these off to Orca to put on because Orca don't do golf pied grips. So um, I requested these and bought them myself and sent them off. Got the nice little head cover. Oh. It's all new. The thing I like about Orca, um, especially when I'll show you when it comes to the hybrids, um, so the irons, is each head's weighted. Uh, you can see there. So when they do the swing weighting of all the clubs, they try, they can, because you know the head, the weight of each head, they can match it across the whole set. But just look at this and love this bit. Oh, oh yes. Look at that. Very, very nice. Yep. So that's the uh, GS5 uh, hybrid. But it doesn't actually... Oh, there it does. So yeah, it's the 19. <laughs> I had a brain fart. I was like, where is it? So yeah, we'll be uh, using that as a comparison uh, and possibly going in the back. Now then. Oof. Look at these beauties, look at these beauties all bagged up, get into them, oh, they smell so nice, the new grips and everything, I just love the smell of them, so we've got three clubs in this bag, we went for the RS10 CB and just look at that AI. Oh, and I've got the, um, let's put it that way, I think it's readable, the NH9 Pro uh, stiff shaft in these. And uh, yeah, listen to this. Oh, peel it off. Nice and slow. Oh, yeah, just look at them. They are beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous these are. Um, and now I've got the proper club in my hand. The weight is fantastic as well. It just oh, cannot wait to get using these. But there's the, uh, the base and the back. So yeah, we've got 
eight iron and we went and then we've also got the uh, pitcher nine in this bag as well and then in here hopefully touch wood we've got a five six and a seven i can get into it oh, i just love the smell absolutely love the smell of them oh my god I mean, I've been waiting for these now for a while um, because I can't get it. Hold on, bear with me in a bit. There we go. six and seven so lovely jubbly but yeah this is what i was saying um where's the seven as an example so this is my seven iron um and it's on the when you get them on the front of the sticker it tells you uh the loft the lie and the weight um these normally come in at 36 degrees the seven iron and then adapt accordingly but i've asked for uh two degrees stronger on on these just because um i want to get that little bit of extra distance out of them so then two degrees will make a big difference and then my five iron is 27 as well well when you think back to the video i made the other day where there's an, an 18 degree four iron it just shows the massive difference so yeah i'm uh just so looking forward to to getting these out but let's take these wrappers off and let's show you them a little bit more up close <laughs> Unfortunately, the pitching wedge um, is at 40, what was it? Lost it. 47 degrees, yeah. So I've got a 47 degree um, pitching wedge, which isn't a big deal in, in itself, but the problem is I'm still waiting for the wedges to turn up, which I've got a 51, 55, 59 come in. Um, so there's just a, the gap between this pitching wedge and my 50 is just a little bit too close to me at the minute. Um, that I know it's only one degree, but it's going to make a bit of a difference. So it'd be good when the wedges turn up too, because then I can have the proper gap in. Um, I mean, I've I've gone five to pitching wedge with these, um, and I've gone 22, 19 degree hybrid. So the 22, what I'm thinking is the seven iron is going to be. 150 155-ish um there are thereabouts six iron 165 uh and then five iron 175 to 180 and then the 22 hybrid will be somewhere around 200 the 19 uh somewhere around 220 to 230 with a big hit uh the, my only issue is it's strike really. I mean, I hit the twenty-two degree hybrid, and I'll um, I'll put a picture up now at two hundred forty-seven yards. I think it was. Oh, right, it was a low spinning knuckleball. Um, but yeah, I think anything above one eight five really for my standard. If I hit the green, it's more luck than judgment to be honest. Um, so I just wanted more control, uh, which is why I've I prefer these uh, lower loft, not lower lofted these weaker weaker lofted clubs um because it gives me more control from say 170 inwards um where i've got 
more control with the club rather than hitting a nine iron 160 pitching wedge 150 and then that gap down to 100 i'm going to struggle whereas i think my pitching wedge here maybe 110 115 uh, then 120 125 nine iron 135 148 iron uh, that sort of range so each i've got a 10 niche gap across the whole board but i'm going to do a gap in session with these now they're here because uh, i've got the 22 degree hybrid on test the demo club and now i've got the 19 so i can do a proper test across the, the whole board uh, and see where the gap in is correctly and if i do need to strengthen or weaken a loft slightly on a certain club because of you know strike on my case i can send it back to alex at orca um and just say make you crank or give it maybe give it to my pro uh if he's got that facility can you just crank a degree or take a degree off this so i've got my gap in set up properly so that was just a quick unboxing of my new orca rs 10s the CB, um, just beautiful. Ah, why is the weather so bad? I want to go and use them. So uh, yeah, this weekend I'll be in the simulator using these without shadow of a doubt. Um, and I'll do a bit of a review on them as well at some point. Uh, maybe compare them up against my compare them up against my uh, TaylorMade P790s before I get rid of them. See you later. Thanks for coming. Uh, you've been good to me, but now I've got sexy. I've got sexy back. Uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate um, all the recent subscribers uh, breaking up to near 400 now, which is just epic. I uh, could never have dreamt of that. So thanks to everyone who subscribed. If you like Orca products uh, and you're interested in Orca products, I've got a few Orca videos up already. I will be doing reviews of the entire range um, at some point periodically because i don't want to throw orca in your face all the time um, i'm not sponsored by orca i'm not endorsed by orca I'm not an orca ambassador i'm just a brand lover um after meeting alex excuse me meeting sam seeing the ethos behind the brand um and how it all works and the quality of the product um it speaks for itself so thanks for watching if you do like my videos you like my vlogs please my god what's wrong with you um, please consider hitting that subscribe button uh, down below. Please drop me a comment, uh, give the video a like, uh, and I'll speak to you all uh, again at some point very, very soon. Oh, and if you're interested in going to the Average Golfer 2019, head on over to Andy's page, The Average Golfer, uh, 23rd of September, Conway Golf Club, £55. It's going to be epic. I'm going to be there. Uh, Andy's going to be there. Some guy called OMP, might know him. Apparently he's going to be there, so it should be a great day out, and I'll see you all later. Thanks again. Bye.